You want to see some disasters? Get ready for that one, Buckos. We got millions of disasters going around coming in at our number 13 spot. Drop a thumbs up if you love your mama because at our number 13 spot of our first story, Twitter is now forcing users to pay for a blue subscription to get 2FA SMS authentication. And essentially the situation here is that you have to pay $8 in order to get that 2FA factor. Basically that is used to make sure that you do not get your account hacked. So if you want to be getting those SMS codes and you want to be putting that on your account, well, too bad. You got to pay $8 a month. And essentially a lot of people got mad, people dropping DDT everywhere and a lot of people dropping some lamao emojis only twitter blue subscribers may use two-factor authentication enabled with text messages and it's just disasters everywhere twitter support came out says effective march 20 2023 only twitter blue subscribers will be able to use text message as their two-factor authentication method Dialing. Dialing. You really doing that, Elon Musk? And essentially, Elon, Elon Musk came forward, and this is what he said. Use of free authentication apps for 2FA will remain free and are much more secure than SMS. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Very good, Elon. Very good. We love it, homie. We love it. But you know what? In defense of Elon Musk, Google Authenticator and Authenticator apps are way more secure than SMS messages. These are facts because any bimbo, any bozo, if they have your information, they can call your SIM company, your phone company and can get that SIM and then they can hack into your account. That's like very easy to do. Apparently nowadays in 2023, but if you got Authenticator codes, then it's a little bit harder. So I agree with Elon, but I mean, damn, son, can a brother not have to pay $8 just to get the SMS tech that, that I, I just cannot even compute. But check this out. Jake Lucky asked Amaranth how much money she makes from her businesses. Roll it. Twitch is basically um, like $100,000 a month uh, for my numbers. Uh, like, you know, subs plus mm -hmm. view count average. And then OF is like $1.5 a month. So <laughs> there's a big difference. <laughs> There's a really big difference. So if you make that much on OF, like why still do streaming? Do you just purely enjoy Bruh. it or like- That actually helps her to get them kids on her OF, dumbass. Well, what? I do kind of enjoy it, but for the most part, Twitch is a billboard that I get paid to advertise on. Mm -hmm. It's a funnel, okay. you know? Yeah, makes sense. Social media will often just shadow ban a bunch of yeah. sexy content, you know? So it's like your reach is really nuked on every other platform mm -hmm. except Twitch. So you think that's your highest conversion platform is Twitch to OnlyFans? Oh, definitely. Bro. Yeah. Sure. This is exactly why you're not making that million. And guys, Amaranth is not a bimbo. She's smart as hell. She knows how to work this system out, okay? She's streaming on Twitch. She got the high dopamine content, all the bozos. If you're buying the OF and you're broke right now, you got no one else but to blame yourself. A lot of kids out there just spending their money, getting in debt, getting their parents in debt because most of the kids are spending their parents' money. They don't even have their own money, right? I gotta respect the grind, but I mean, damn son, $1.5 million a month. <laughs> and I'm sitting here, I'm like, bro, nobody even gives me two pennies, y'all. You can't afford get like uh, two dollars, two pennies, maybe three, something like that. But this time, speaking of a bimbo, apparently, Nadia got invited in a Fortnite event. Those of you that are not in the loops, I mean, in this day and age, everybody's in the loops, okay? Whenever you're talking about the bimbos, everybody knows about the bimbos. The situation here is that apparently Nadia was invited out into a Fortnite LAN event. Nadia's accused of cheating, and essentially, this is what happens. Roll it. It's game time. The stage is set. The rat will now enter the arena. <laughs> And we are off. That allegedly happened. I'm not sure. I have not seen the actual video. This one is coming from the homie Call of Shame. I did make a reaction. I did make a full video. I will link you that at the end. But we're not sure if that crowd chanting was a sound effect or for real, for real. If it was for real, for real, that is crazy, okay? I made a video. I'll link you that at the end. And this following story will give you motivation. Roll it. Cypher parents didn't approve of him being a streamer. So he left the home anyway at the age of 18 and took a chance. Roll it. Um, and even when I had 500 average and I applied I was expecting it to decline but I got accepted and uh, my parents did not want me to be a streamer uh, even even though I was partnered and I had a, you know I was making a few thousand a month and I was supporting myself Damn. they still wanted me to go back to school and drop the whole streaming thing so I just said <laughs> packed my bags and left at the age of 18 to find an apartment and I was streaming out of a hotel for a week uh, every apartment was declining me because my proof of income was my PayPal statements and they didn't know what PayPal was and they didn't know what streaming or YouTube was. 
but I got lucky. Like one apartment was just like, fine, we'll take a chance on this kid. They gave me an apartment and I was streaming full time for a couple of years there. Elder Scrolls into For Honor, a little bit of Overwatch, uh, and then Fortnite came out in 2018 uh, and, or late 2017 and I hopped on it. And mm. I initially didn't like the game, but I came back and gave it a chance and I, I blew up. But guys, listen, okay? You don't want to be doing the same thing if you're in the same boat, like your parents are not agreeing with you, or you're, you're like, Give me, I, I can make it happen, but you're not there, or whatever the case might be, okay? If you're trying to pursue, you're, that's step one. Keep going, but do not leave your parents' house. Do not do it. D take calculated risk. It's always better to live with your parents. You save your money, you work, you put that money together, you, you, you can actually lessen the debt. Just keep grinding, okay? Try to not go in debt. The West wanna always push the agenda that you should move out, you should not live with your parents. Bad advice. Live with your parents, save that money, make that bread, move your ass, do 10 push-ups right now, keep grinding, okay? And drop a thumbs up for me to hype you up. Bruh. Meanwhile, we got super followers getting dunked on by the Twitter brokies out here because apparently Aiden Ross says that all the big streamers are going from Twitch to kick, including K Sanic, I Show Speed, Bruce, Your Rage, and more. Roll it. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Kai's going, Your Rage is going, Bruce is going, Speed's going, everyone's going to kick. I'm just gonna tell you guys now, I don't give a They're all going, bro. Think about it, the platform cannot fail if everyone goes. Even since you're saying, yo, I'm not even joking, they're all going, bro. Why would they not go? They're gonna give them equity and, and millions of dollars. Millions of dollars, yo, can a brother perhaps get that printing money printing machine as well? But however, one bozo around the streets ended up spotting Trevor Og or Steven Og, the, the, the actor behind Trevor in GTA 5 and he asked him about GTA 6. Roll it. Yeah, so are you going to be in GTA 6? No idea. Come on, Actors man. are the last to know anything. All right, okay. We'll see. But for us, we would love to see you there. Thank you. All right, and be mean. We need you to be more mean. I'll try my best. <laughs> But guys, as a bonus, I got this crazy clip. So check this out. This happened back in 2018. And it is currently trending right now where you see these two bozos. They ended up like taking the wig off. And then, you know, the BF is kind of mad. Ends up getting that punch. And then this baddie just completely destroys them. Takes this bozo man. First of all, like, like you have lost all your right to be called a man, okay? The fact that like your baddie just saved you like that. God damn. I mean, respect for the baddie. But like this bozo ass guy couldn't even save her her baddie like damn son like he's like wait what what yeah i'm a, I'm a f y'all f y'all and bam and shorty just ended up spamming like square ended up uh, spamming like triangles i gotta get me a baddie like that too guys shut the f up but speaking of some gaming news apparently this happened uh, it's a big week in gt online uh, this week cap with a new car and big garage remote events and more and we're essentially getting a brand new update in gt online guys uh, rockstar games come on man it is time to let it go there's always a time and place but it is time to let this go bruh it is over it is finished means done finato over the end gone to console heaven sent to the dead gone every murder kill it killed in action wasted as you guys would like to say rockstar games it's over just let it go bruh but speaking of the ufo update i've been covering all of that story on my second channel scary x definitely check that out but breaking us and search for ufo shot down over alaska and lake huron those of you that do not know us has shot down three different ufos like tuck, 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 and they came forward they said that they do not know what they are they are truly not ruling out the possibility of aliens they did not say it's aliens but they also didn't say that it's not aliens right so they're they're causing a lot of suspicion a lot of people are kind of suspect in the situation and this just happened and i quote us and canada conducted systematic searches of each area using a variety of capabilities including airborne imagery and sensors surface sensors and inspections and subsurface scans and they did not locate the debris this is some of the biggest cap on planet earth you're telling me that the us okay they spent four hundred thousand dollars on that one missile they fired to take that ufo guys I'm not even making that up. Just look that up. I'm gonna drop something on your screen to make that one missile. They spent nearly 400k, and now they're saying that it was a $12 balloon. Uh, we couldn't find the debris. That's just bull squash, man. I wanna know your thoughts. But however, Battlefield 2042 is getting season 4 11th hour, and it's gonna be getting one new map. One new map. I mean, first of all, I gotta say, man. God damn. 
And we're looking at Call of Duty. It's been like, what, five months and we haven't even got a single one new map. It looks like that we're gonna be getting one new map in Call of Duty very soon. Uh, but uh, you know what? Okay, one new map in Battlefield, new recon specialist, new vehicle, new gadget, new weapons, new wild weapons, new battle passes, uh, or one pass, new experiences, and new store items. Uh, we love to see them new, <laughs> new store items and discarded map rework later in season. Oh, wow, we getting a betty? Goddamn. But guys, I know I'm gonna sound like a boomer, but back in my days, we used to get four maps, believe it or not. I know we used to have to pay $15 a month, but Battlefield 3, y'all remember that? <laughs> With that, we would be getting four maps, 10 weapons, sometimes two or three new vehicles, and the maps would be crazy good. Call of Duty would be giving us just four multiplayer maps for uh, $15, so Call of Duty was still not up to par with Battlefield situation, right? I remember Black Ops 2 first DLC actually had Peacemaker DLC weapon for the very first time, okay? Four new maps, one zombies map, and one new weapon, but Call of Duty and Battlefield, both of them were thriving. Nobody was really complaining about that situation, and nowadays, guys, we only get one new map after what like two months three months four months sometimes just one new map i mean damn man check this out so 100t it's timmy came out he says that so i'm going to be in a movie the family playing with mark Wahlberg. and recently mark Wahlberg was in the uncharted movie as well and right now they're gonna be having a family movie i mean wow we got walkery in it as well and a lot of people are mind blown by the fact and uh, obviously ended up getting 50 000 likes so kind of brother get like uh five five likes we also are getting more rumors about that playstation 5 slim because essentially we're hearing that rumors about an updated ps5 console have been doing the rounds for months now but the thing is yet to materialize whether we're in for a ps5 slim or ps5 pro I, I don't think we're gonna be getting a ps5 pro before 2024 i think that might happen by the end of 2024 maybe even in 2025 but i certainly feel like that this year we're likely at least gonna hear about ps5 slim if we do not get it but the rumor here is that and it's coming from the homie tom henderson and bunch of other sources that we're gonna be getting a brand new playstation 5 with a detachable disc drive essentially that's gonna be a ps5 slim but some sources are saying that it's not gonna be a ps5 slim it's just like a rebrand but others are saying it's gonna be a ps5 slim and now new reports suggest that sony is working on brand new accessories for the ps5 including wireless earbuds and a new headset and insiders are already speculating that these slated for 2023 could be intended to coincide with the release of a new console according to insider gaming and i quote sony is developing wireless earbuds and a new wireless headset for the ps5 both of which are scheduled to release towards the end of fiscal year 2023 which is gonna be ending on march 2024 so looking at this situation we might be getting a new ps5 slim for 500 dollars 600 dollars 700 dollars listen man we do not know <laughs> Looks like we might have to sell our kidneys to afford this one, Kaji. But however, Hogwarts Legacy tops Japanese charts and Japan number one. Oh, we're in China number one, Japan number two. Bruh. Shout out to the homie for adding me in this situation. And it looks like that the Japanese homies are really loving the, the Hogwarts Legacy. But click on this video on the screen. This is about Nadia. This actually just happened. You're not gonna believe it. Or click the video on the left because Xbox might be buying someone else. Because the Activision deal might get cancelled. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.